Salesbury was a man from the land of our fathers who has forever left a fingerprint on Wales. But who was he? Most people with a legendary status come with an air of mystery and Salesbury's no different. We know he was born in this place, Llan Salmon, but as for when, well, it's still up for debate. We also know we studied in Oxford, though again, the dates are a little hazy. I mean, it's not like we can scroll through his Facebook page to see his cap and gown selfies, is it? And even if we could, I'm not sure we'd find them. We don't even think he graduated. So, what do we know about him? Well, for starters, he was a master of languages. He could roll off Welsh, English and Latin all before breakfast. And there were more too. Hebrew, Greek, German, French, Spanish. He had a mind like no one else. Thomas Williams of Trevru once called Salisbury the most learned of all Welshmen. Down in Oxford, he learns about two isms, Protestantism and humanism. He picks up on Erasmus' work and it changes him. Salisbury learns that the Dutch translator went back to the original manuscripts and came to the conclusion that the Latin Vulgate was was found wanting. Back in Salisbury's day, the Catholic priests would read the services in Latin. But after Henry VIII decided to go rogue and set up his own church, Latin got outmuscled by English and Welsh churchgoers went from struggling to keep up to not having the foggiest. In 1551, Salesby translates into Welsh the Bible readings used in the Book of Common Prayer. At least then, people can listen to weekly portions of scripture being read in church and understand them. Salesbury gets the green light from Henry VIII to publish books in Welsh. So the most learned man in Wales meets the printing press and it's a match made in heaven. He gets a new name, Father of Welsh Publishing. From 1547 to 1551, he rolls out seven books, four in Welsh and three in English. He puts together a dictionary. He even follows in the footsteps of Erasmus by publishing a book of Proverbs. Salisbury makes big strides in Welsh literature and spirituality. But 1567 is the year that trumps them all. Teaming up with the Bishop of St. David's, Richard Davis, he translates the complete book of common prayer into Welsh. And along with the Psalms, gets them published in May. This made a big impact on the ground. Churchgoers get to digest the living words of scripture in their heart language every week of the year. Then, five months on, he publishes another book, the first ever Welsh New Testament, translated straight from the original Greek. Salisbury is one stone who kills two birds. Thanks to Salisbury, the Welsh language becomes cultured in rich literature. But even more precious than that, Welsh becomes edified in New Testament scripture. You know, William Morgan may get the plaudits for the first translation of the complete Bible into Welsh in 1588, but we can't forget Morgan was standing on the shoulders of a giant, and that giant's name was William Salisbury. <laughs>